Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Showcase, featuring a top lineup of the finest musical talent New Zealand has to offer in a search to find the very best. Please welcome your Master of Ceremonies, Ian Fraser. Thank you. Hello, New Zealand. I have to tell you, it is exciting to be back with a brand new series of Showcase. Over the past few weeks, of course, we've been keeping an eye on the young entertainers, the budding talent, the kids with the world at their feet. It's been inspirational stuff. Tonight, we're showcasing acts from all over the musical spectrum. We've got country, we've got classical, we've got contemporary, we've even got some folk music, a touch of the Gaelic. We've got a great show for you. I've been listening to them rehearse earlier today, and I can report that the competition will be hot. There can be only one winner, ultimately, although tonight we're picking three who all go through to our semi-finals and maybe to the grand final. You get a chance to select your own finalists too. By telephone, call 0900 9 55 66 and follow the simple instructions. A new series of showcase, a new panel of judges. At the helm, if it's got notes, the chances are he wrote it or arranged it or conducted it or played it He's also the man who helped me learn ballroom dancing all those years ago at Otago Boys High School. He had a habit of leading then, nothing's changed. The maestro, Sir William Southgate. Welcome, Sir William. Our other resident judge is also an incredibly varied talent. She's a composer, she's an actress, she's a singer. And as a member of When the Cat's Been Spayed, she's an occasional cat. It's not... Chairman Meow, it's the lovely Jackie Clark. <laughs> and each week we have a special guest judge to share the burden, lighten the load, make the coffee. Tonight, no less a New Zealand showbiz icon than Midge Marsden. Let's hear it for Midge. <laughs> What's an icon? <laughs> What's an icon? <laughs> Midge. Welcome. You get around. You tour almost everywhere in New Zealand. Do you get a chance when you're touring to watch the talent coming through? We try to, Ian. Try to. Sometimes it's not always easy as it sounds. When you're on the road, you don't really do much else but work. Thanks, judges. Okay. Compose yourselves. Well, Sir William, you already have done that. Um, <laughs> focus, because here comes the first act for tonight and for the series. They're a foursome. They're from Palmerston North, but they've been doing a lot of touring over the last 15 months, so you could say that they belong to all of us. They're starting to write their own stuff, but tonight they're here with an Amanda Marshall number, Let It Rain. Let's hear it for Squeeze. <laughs>
please with Let It Rain. No matter the weather, the show goes on. With the song of the regiment, please welcome to Maru's Rachel Cunningham. Rachel Cunningham there with Chacun Le D from The Daughter of the Regiment by Donizetti. Those lyrics translate as, we are the best, second to none. We know about that. That's the showcase motto. Before we find out how Rachel's done, we've got to find out what the judges thought about Squeeze. Squeeze kicked off the series. Sir William, kick off the judging. <laughs> well, I thought it was an excellent ensemble, obviously very well rehearsed. Um, by the way, uh, Nathan, I really enjoyed your apparently effortless guitar solo. Splendid stuff. The intonation in the backing vocals, I think it needs a little bit of attention, and the overall balance could do a little work as well. But it was a really enjoyable performance overall. 43. 43 from Sir William, Jackie Clark. Yeah. I loved it. I loved the, your voice especially was just really sweet just enough vibrato not not too much you know not too much and the song really suited the band uh, really good power pop the only thing i would say is that you could give yourself up more to it like i know it's really hard when you just have to do one song and you've suddenly got to get it all happening but um with a power pop song you've got to totally physically commit to it the other thing i'd say is i couldn't understand a word and i love that in rock and roll that's good <laughs> <laughs> and i gave you 43 as well 43 and Mitch, I think um, as a band you look great, but I thought you were perhaps a little bit serious about the song, Paula. Perhaps you could have maybe, I was looking for that smile that I'm seeing right now. I also gave you a 43. <laughs> Thanks, judges. Three 43s. That gives a total score for Squeeze of 129 points. Well done. Back now to Rachel Cunningham. She's originally from Timaru, but she spends most of her time these days in Sydney, where she's finishing off her musical education. She's actually sung at the Sydney Cricket Ground. She had a very good score. Over now to the umpires. 
Jackie Clark, how did you score her? I thought you were quite delightful. I, my favourite sort of soprano is a perky one. And um, <laughs> there was not a touch of the Brunhilde about you. That was really, really gorgeous. Sopranos, it's such a difficult style because you've got to be a consummate actor and as well as having, you know, control over your voice. And I thought you managed both of those things wonderful. Very sort of titillating use of the eyebrow and the gesture. I like that a lot. Thank you. 45. 45. <laughs> Midge Marsden. Yes. Um, Rachel, I'm not particularly au fait with a lot of opera, but I really know what I enjoy. And I really enjoyed your performance. You were very confident. You seemed totally at ease with the song. Uh, your presentation was really, really good, and the dynamics and the voice were fantastic. I love the power in your voice when you go for those top notes. If only I could do that. I really loved it. Very well done. I think um, I'm going to give you a 46. 46 from Midge. Sir William. Well, Rachel, you've got a lovely, true voice. Pretty rare, too. Uh, excellent intonation throughout. You probably know already it was a famous Joan Sutherland vehicle, this one. Well, unlike her, we can actually hear the French words. Uh, <laughs> the rhythm, uh, I think, could be a bit crisper, that's all. And the French possibly needs a bit of seeing to as well. But honestly, it was very, very well done and well worth the 46 marks. That gives a total score for Rachel Cunningham of 137 points. A great score, one of the top two scores tonight so far. We've got another six acts to come, including some blues, some folk, some a cappella. And you'll be meeting them all right after this break. Just a reminder about the viewers' final. You can vote for your favourite performer simply by calling 0900 955566. Parents, ask your kids first. Next up a man and his piano. He started a music degree, but the call of the stage was too strong. The roar of the grease paint, the smell of the crowd. Tonight, he's singing a soul number made famous by the commitments. The song's called Try A Little Tenderness. He's from Queenstown. He's Andy Carey. <laughs> Young girls to get weary Wearing that same old silk dress When she gets weary Try, try to turn it She's the waiting Try Try to do this That's what we gotta do It's not It's not sentimental No, no, no She had a grief Yes. 
Sensational stuff there from Andy Carey. He sings so well, he plays so well, it's not fair. <laughs> the song was Try a Little Tenderness. That sounds like a message to the judges. Midge Marsden. Well, <laughs> Andy, there you are. <laughs> um, you've got a very, very powerful voice, uh, very soulful as well, and you've got a voice to kill for. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Your playing is great too. Uh, very flamboyant as a piano playing. A very complete performance, and um, I'll give you a 45. 45? <laughs> Thanks, Meg. Sir William. Well, it doesn't take a genius to say that that had a certain amount of drive. Uh, <laughs> terrific contact with the audience, I've, I've got to say, Andy, marvellous stuff. A performance, a real performance tonight. Um, the piano playing was basically okay, but I've got to say it was that searing voice that carried the day. Well done. 45 marks. <laughs> and Jackie Clark. <laughs> well, I can only say, wow! <laughs> oh, be there! Mm. You know, the thing about a, an R&B song like that, that everybody knows so well, is you really have to take it by the scruff of the, the teeth and really show it who's boss. And I think you did that. You've got really great attitude, a great look. It must go down really well with the middle-aged women in the lounge. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get stripped? Um, <laughs> we can talk about that later. Um, I think your playing's very, very showy, and it, it's kind of quite different from your voice, so it makes for a very interesting sound. I loved it, and I'm giving you 44. Come back, we'll bring you a touch of the blues. Stay with us. Third Place Getter can give a prize-winning performance at home with a Technics Digital Ensemble, a full 88-key digital piano that at the touch of a switch lets you play in the style of the great pianists. Or play in your own style. From Technics, brought to you by Panasonic and Showcase. The second place getter is off to LA, flying return business class with Air New Zealand and a two-night stopover at the Sheraton Moana Surfrider Honolulu. Then it's on to Los Angeles and five elegant nights at the Regent Beverly Wiltshire Hotel. Have fun with the top down in a Hertz convertible and enjoy passes to Universal Studios and Disneyland. The winner of the Showcase Grand Final will experience Europe firsthand flying Air New Zealand's Pacific Class. Two nights at Bangkok's Doosit Dani Hotel, then five nights in the heart of London at the Mount Royal Hotel. See the city, catch a show, then it's off to Italy on a 13-day Insight Italian Escapade Tour. The landscapes and the lifestyle are all very different and unmistakably Italian. Courtesy of United Travel and Showcase. So let's play on. Our next contestant is from Rotorua. She's been singing for 11 years, with gaps only for meals and sleep. She says she likes all kinds of music, but tonight she's in a blues mood. With Rompin' Stompin' Blues by the Judds, please welcome Rochelle Wilson. Forget about, oh, what's his name? 
Bompin' and Stompin' from Christchurch with Son of a Preacher Man, it's Chapman and Chapman. Cousin Billy would take me walking Through the backyard we'd go walking Then he'd look into my eyes Lord knows to my surprise The only one who could ever reach me Was the son of a preacher man The only boy who could ever teach me Was the son of a preacher man Yes, he was To me, you come and tell me everything is all right. You kiss and tell me everything is all right. Can I get away again tonight? The only one who could ever reach me was the son of a preacher man. They're the only boy who could ever teach me was the son of a preacher man. Yes, he was. Chapman and Chapman, also known as Ian and Colette, with that funky version of the Dusty Springfield classic. We're going to have to keep you on tenterhooks for a moment longer, guys, because first we've got to find out what the judges thought of Rochelle Wilson, Jackie Clark. Great voice, a great country voice. It's got all the right bits, the sort of smoky bottom edge and a bit of a growl, and a, plus your high notes are just absolutely seamless. I loved your singing. You're sort of actually kind of a bit like a baby Bonnie Raitt, the funny sort of way. I think it's the red hair. Um, the only thing I'd say is it's quite a raunchy song, and I think maybe you haven't lived enough. <laughs> you just got to really sing those words, but I, your voice, <sighs> beautiful. Um, 43. Thanks, Jackie. Mitch Marsden. Yes, well, Michelle, the blues is my music, of course. Um, I've been singing this stuff for years. I really, really think that um, you've got a great voice for that sort of song. Country blues, very, very good. Uh, nice, deep voice. I also liked... Um, the way you grit your voice on the bad news blue, that was, that was really good. I thought maybe if you did more of that, like the romp and stomp and blues, and I, I got the feeling you were ready to break out. But um, very, very good. I'll give you a 44. 44. <laughs> Getting really worried about some of this advice, Sir William. <laughs> Well, I thought it was a really great low-down blues feel. Terrific. You really put the song across well. Uh, again, if there's... I just coincide, actually, with my other co-judges. If there's just one criticism, it's just that the voice, I didn't feel, was quite beefy enough, you know, to, uh, for, you know, to compensate for the strong material. But there was a great deal of enjoyment to be had from this performance. Well done. 42 marks.
Thanks, judges. That makes a total of 129 points for Rochelle Wilson. From Rotorua, top performance, top score. Well done. Back to Chapman and Chapman, Ian and Colette. They've been singing together for 10 years. You can tell they fit really easily together. How do they do with our judges? That's the big question. Mitch Marston. Yes, uh, I think what you say, Ian, is true. You've obviously worked together for a long time. I really love the way you enjoy your performance. You really got into that song. Also, a great version of an old song. I mean, it's been done before, but you just really, really, I love the way you, you rearrange it. I, so I really, really enjoyed what you did with it, and I thought you really sang well, and you look good. You look so you're enjoying yourselves, and um, the experience really, really shows. I give you a 43. 43. Yeah. Thanks, Midge. Sir William. Well, you said it all, too. The ensemble was excellent, really excellent, uh, and a strong personality coming across, particularly from you, Colette. Uh, I thought it was marvellous. The presentation, smooth and focused above all things. Uh, obviously enjoyed both by you, certainly by us, 45 marks. And Jackie Clark. Well, I must say, there's something about a girl with a harmonica. <laughs> um, Colette, you're, you're so watchable. I cannot believe it. You're just, you're just so watchable. You're really enjoying it, which is half the battle with a song. If you can make the audience think, oh, wow. She likes it, so I like it too. Ian, I think you have to do some work to keep up with Colette. She's <laughs> riding away from you. <laughs> but I thought you were wonderful, and I've given you 43. Adding quickly, that gives us a total for Chapman and Chapman of 131 points. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Two more performances to come. He's been playing guitar since he was eight. He's a trained dancer. He's an actor. He's a model. He's also a Michael Jackson impersonator, but then so is Michael Jackson. <laughs> Tonight, though, he's left the glove and the moonwalk behind. He's here with his guitar and a number he wrote himself. From Auckland, with Tia Marie's Dollhouse, please welcome Richard Ganaway.
Richard Galloway from Auckland with an original number, Tia Marie's Gold Hus, some quite magical sounds there. While his guitar gently beeps, let's find out what the judges thought. Sir William. Well, fascinating, quite fascinating. Your, your actual strict canon. J.S. Bach would uh, have found tape delay most interesting, I'm sure. Um, as a composition, uh, I thought it was probably a bit too episodic. Uh, it didn't hang together as well as it might, but as a vehicle for some really, really interesting and very beautiful sounds, it was most successful. So well done. 44 points. Thanks, Sir William. <laughs> Jackie Clark. Well, Richard, I thought it was absolutely hypnotic. Hypnotic. I'm still awake, which is a good sign. Um, I thought you had a really nice balance between being lovingly engaged in your guitar and lovingly engaged with the audience, which is really hard for an instrumentalist, and I thought you did that really, really well. I enjoyed the different techniques and, you know, an amazing variety of sound you're getting from that one instrument. It's nice to see a lead guitarist that's not obsessed with testosterone. So thanks for that. I've given you 43. 43, yeah. Mid -Marker. Yes, Richard. Um, very interesting composition. I think perhaps you could have done more with the shape of it. I mean, obviously, for a young man at 20 years of age, you're very talented. I mean, look what you've done so far, and I think you've got a great future in front of you. I really uh, love the, the use of echo or delay that you used on your guitar. It sounded like two guitars at times. It was very disconcerting, but you were doing it all. I was watching intently. Um, you've got some very, very agile fingers and some wonderful sounds coming out of there. And love the nails, by the way. <laughs> I gave you 43. 43. For Richard Ganaway from Auckland, a total of 130 points. Thanks, Richard. We come now to the last act for the evening. They're a Celtic band from Nelson. They believe strongly that music must touch the spirit. And with a name like Fraser, I can tell you it certainly stares the blood. They do it all from a gentle tip of the hut to a rousing celebration. Here with an original number, you don't have to be Irish from Nelson, Keegan and the Wren. You don't have to be Irish to have the heart of an Irish man. You don't have to be Irish to be a lover of Ireland. You don't have to be Irish to have the heart of an Irish man. You don't have to be Irish to be a lover of Ireland. asking no I wasn't born in Ireland or oh, he was born in Nelson that's not a shame to me me grandpa was Macaulay me grandma was a grady to anyone who's asking it's Jameson's for me please you don't Shame to me, me grandpa was Macaulay, me grandma was a great to anyone who's asking, it's Jameson's for me, please you don't. generations ago If the beating of your heart is stronger when the music starts Let me tell you something Your heart already knows it You don't have to be Irish to have the heart Of an Irish man, you don't have to be ours to be a lover of Ireland. You don't have to be ours to have the heart of an Irish man. You don't have to be ours to be a lover of Ireland.
Well, you don't have to be Irish, but it certainly helps, Bedad. That was mighty. I was out the back doing a little jig. I was tapping my toes. Say nothing. <laughs> You're going to have to tap your toes for a bit too because we're not going to have a judging until after the break. Stay with us. Back soon. Welcome back. Now, where were we? That's right. We have Keegan and the Wren waiting anxiously for the judging to begin, which it will now. Jackie Clark. Woof. Woof. I really loved that. It was totally infectious, fantastic energy, really a delight to see five people on stage interrelating, you know, with one another. I thought that was really beautiful. Um, great song, great lyrics. Problem with great lyrics is when you write great lyrics, you want more. And I thought you should write another verse for that song. I heard that same verse twice and I thought, come on, I want another one. And um, personally, I think your lead singer, you've got the best look ever. I think you should do a calendar now. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you 46. <laughs> Thanks, Jackie. Mitch Marsden. Keegan and the Wren, well, just like a good Guinness, it's pretty hard not to enjoy that song. Um, and you don't even have to like Irish music to like that. That was great. Very happy, joyous performance. Uh, good harmonies, including the a cappella piece. I gave you a 46. Cheers. 46 from Midge. Sir William. Well, great stuff. And all the way from County Nelson to uh, huge fun and transmitted absolutely effortlessly. I, I, I know, by the way, it is a group effort and I'm, I'm not meant to comment on individuals, but I just couldn't take my eyes off Mike Lipscomb, the lead singer. Absolute star quality. Terrific. Congratulations, all five of you, on projecting such evident delight. 46. Three 46s. That gives Keegan and the Wren a total. 138 points. That's a great score. And that means we can name the winner and the two runners-up will go through to one of the semi-finals. The second runner-up is Andy Carey. Great going, Andy. The first runner-up is Rachel Cunningham. Congratulations to you, Rachel. And the winner of this, the first showcase for 1997, is Keegan and the Wren. <laughs> and there's a special award, just like last series, the Encouragement Award, which goes to the performer or performers who, though they may not have won, were winners with me. This is what they win. The Showcase Encouragement Prize to keep you on the right track, a solid Remu CD rack and $200 worth of Music Man vouchers from the Mayo Group and Showcase. And the Encouragement Award tonight goes to Chapman and Chapman. Good show. Which just about brings us to the end of the show. Remember, you have a part to play in Showcase in the viewers' final. If there's been an act in tonight's program that's impressed you, get on the phone and call this number now. 0900 955 66.